On the 9th or 10th of January 2024, depending on where you live, TF2 item servers went down randomly and didn't come back up for at least a couple of days, leaving the entire player base having to go back to basics in terms of what weapons they were using and their cosmetic loadout. There was no unlockable weapons, there's no cosmetics, no unusuals, no strangers, no nothing. Pure default for absolutely every single player who opened TF2 that day. And honestly, it was a really fun time. I fired up a stream over on twitch.tv slash spiky underscore Mikey for anybody who was interested to check out what TF2 was like during the time where everybody was a default player. It's kind of weird. It does, however, mean that nobody can use their angler. Spies are all stuck using their default loadouts. Nobody can use score shots. You know, I mean, it's like the default. This is just default TF2, you know? Now, there were some things that I noticed straight away while playing during this little weird episode of TF2 stuff. The first is just how much I subliminally judge a player's skill level based off the hats they are wearing. Because I underestimated every single opponent I went against in this stream because nobody was wearing hats. So how was I meant to know if they were good or not? Which, first of all, opened my eyes to just how much I do it without realizing, but also just how much it does actually help sometimes when gauging if you can take a group of enemies on or if that scout in front of me is going to absolutely ruin my day. Sometimes if there's a group of enemies with no hats on, you can run in there, get all of the kills and get out easily. But even if one of those players is semi-competent, you'll die straight away. And you just couldn't tell this time. Everything during this stream felt simple and i was hit with like constant waves of nostalgia for how tf2 once was for me a time where i didn't know anything about the game i didn't have any items and a lot of people around me didn't either and while it is super annoying from valve to not even say anything about the fact that the tf2 item servers were down why it happened no apologies or updates as to when they might be back and all of that stuff we've come to expect from valve recently which is basically nothing it was actually quite nice to be able to just play TF2 and have this experience where nobody knew what was going on and it was almost exciting to play during this time. It's not very often something happens in TF2 anymore, I think. And <laughs> we as a community are so content starved that not actually having any cosmetics or weapons felt like an event. And it was exciting and it was weird and it was like, uh, we don't know why this is happening. And on the flip side of that, isn't that a little bit terrifying? And it would be so much more terrifying for like bigger traders and things like that. The fact that you just can't access your items for like three days, that, that's not good. And what if the servers never got switched back on? What happens with our inventories? I guess all of that like inherent value of our fake items goes down to zero, which is a pretty scary thought. And it's not even like there was any lead up to this either. This was just a random day where the item servers went down and we genuinely didn't know if it was ever coming back up because Valve didn't say anything, as always. Honestly, for a little bit, I was thinking this was a weird way of Valve trying to kill the game off for good, like start with taking the items down, then remove a region of servers. Then the game's gone. <laughs> I don't know. It just... It's Valve. Literally anything can happen and they just won't say anything about it. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. Every is every didn't know. Have I accidentally found a sniper only server? Have I accidentally... I'm going crazy, bro. Okay, I lied. I lied. I, I lied. Dude, I lied. What is going on? I'm being... A <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? I hit so many shots and then just whiffed. The second I said I'm doing well and I got a raid, I lost my mind. I missed everything. Tears for how you doing, man? I hope your stream went well. You ruined my kill streak. We'll never forgive you. What? That was on his head. Am I meant to be using a sniper rifle? I have a weird feeling that this server, nobody was doing it. 
This guy's just not playing, is he? Everybody else is like... I, I keep forgetting people can actually hit me as well. Is that weird? Dude, what on earth? I'm like... I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is just a regular casual server. All I can hear are the SMGs. You ain't going anywhere, bro. Neither are you. This is the weirdest. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's so weird. What is happening? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. No, I got auto balanced. I just dropped that. Oh my god, they've got like the Ubers. <laughs> this is just a regular server. Where? He's critting me. Ever is God is so loud. He didn't die. <laughs> that was so weird. What did I just join? <laughs> I got so many headshots. I am aware I keep saying it, but it felt like the goofy hat game I remember playing when I started and the game I fell in love with, basically. And it felt far less of the bot infested, like horrific wasteland kind of vibes that a game gives off nowadays in certain places of the world. And I genuinely had a lot of fun playing TF2 that day. Now, after a few days, I, I'm assuming somebody at Valve kind of checked the item servers and realized, oh, they've not been on for a few days. Oh, well, just turn it back on, whatever. Don't say anything. So it's good that the items did come back, but the experience of being set back to the start was actually a quite nice one. However temporary it was. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.